Hello everyone, my name is Ephraim and today I'm just going to talk about why do camcorders have such small sensor. You know, if you have ever gone through the specs of a camcorder, you will notice that uh, the sensor size is relatively small. You know, even if you compare it to a smartphone, uh, the sensor size is really much smaller than a smartphone. But I would say that um, because of the small sensor size of a camcorder, it has actually a lot of benefits you know from the smaller size of the camcorder to the lens and also small sensors actually uh, generate less heat and it's also less power consuming because most of the time camcorders are usually used to record long hours of uh, recording of video so uh, in this video i'm just going to show you some samples and uh, explain more on why camcorders have such small sensors so you'll be able to get an idea if you're planning to get a camcorder or you actually own one at home so hope you enjoy this video so in this first test I'm just going to talk about the depth of field so if you are using a mirrorless or DSLR to actually film a dance show or a live performance you'll notice that the performers actually uh, move front and back most of the time so it will be difficult to get everyone in focus for example uh, in this case i'll be using minions as the performance um, you can see that from the front you can see when the front person for example is in focus then the back will be out of focus if the focus is on the back of the people of the performance then you can notice that the front is out of focus so getting focus with a camera that has large sensors or even normal smartphones which are not really good in autofocus uh, for videos uh, most of it so you can see that mirrorless uh, cameras or DSLR to get focus is actually pretty difficult you know if one person would be in the front you get in focus and the back will be blurred out so whereas for a camcorder you are actually be able to get everything in focus so I was just gonna show you you see um, if I use a camcorder, it will be much better. So look at this. Okay, now I'm filming on my camcorder. This is the V270 Panasonic. So you can see that, you know, everything is in focus from the front to the back, even if it's shot at wide open at f1.8. On the mirrorless cameras, I was shooting at f4.5. You can see that you know even if i move front and back you can see most of the people or most of the minions in the situations are mostly in focus uh, so camcorders really actually help if you are filming performance where you want to uh, every one of the phases of the performance to be in focus so you do not want to miss anything out so the next example i want to show you is actually the zoom lens most of the camcorders lens are actually built into the camcorder whereas cameras are actually built outside so when you turn on the zoom actually sticks out whereas a camcorder the lens is actually inside so in order to fit the lens inside the camcorder you must have a very small sensor so that the lens can fully fit inside the camcorder plus by having a small sensor you can actually have a small smaller lens and it's also be able to fit in a much longer lens so for example if a mirrorless camera this is a micro four third sensor size you can see that this is only three times optical zoom from this whole thing whereas from this camcorder it's pretty small you can see it has actually a 50 times optical zoom so you can see uh, how much more uh, beneficial a camcorder is if you want to shoot for you know long distance and it's because it is very small the sensor you can fit a very large lens into it and the next thing uh, i would say that is really uh, really good is that you can see that camcorder lens are built into it and the zoom are usually very smooth so when you zoom in and out you can actually have a constant and smooth zoom compared for a camera that your the zoom is not actually meant for video it's actually meant for cameras uh, for photo so basically if you are shooting video you will want to have a smooth zoom so that's why uh, having a small sensor size is really very beneficial i would say because uh, for small sensors you can actually have a smaller lens and a really compact body so i hope you find this uh, example helpful 
So I hope you guys enjoy what I've just shown you and I hope you actually understand uh, why do camcorders actually have such small sensors. So if you have any further questions or if any suggestion on what you want to know or what are the things that you may want me to um, talk about or the videos that you may want to see, feel free to leave me a comment below and I will of course um, you know discuss about it and I of course can make a video about it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can do so. I hope you have a great day ahead. Goodbye.